So motion is lotion. This is episode number two in my behavioral medicine series for how to alleviate pain and stiffness in muscles for both men and women over 60. Hi everybody and welcome to Your Second 50, where I explore topics intended to optimize every body 50, 60, 70, and above. Hi, welcome to Your Second 50. I'm Judy Terrell and if you are joining me in this episode, then you are on my series number 10. And my topic for this series is what are behavioral medicine techniques that you can do as a 60, 70, 80 or older year old man or women who is struggling with muscle stiffness, discomfort and pain. Welcome everybody, I'm Judy Terrell, and this is my six part series on behavioral medicine for muscle pain. Um, This is episode number two, and the first episode I covered self massage tools that you can use that can alleviate some of the muscle stiffness and pain that you might be feeling because you live in an older body. In today's episode, I'm going to teach you a routine that um, I designed for my 60, 70, 80 and older clientele that is designed out of the catchphrase, motion is lotion. And let me explain a couple of my terms now. Um, Behavioral medicine, what am I talking about? So behavioral medicine is my term for what can you do that is not pharmacology or surgery that is a behavior that you can utilize that acts as a medicine to get you out of muscle pain. Um, Motion is lotion. That is a a catchphrase from decades ago that is usually applied in um, arthritis for arthritis people struggling with arthritis and basically is what it says is what it means. If you move your muscles, it will work the same as if you were putting on a soothing salve or a lotion that was designed to take away pain. Um, So motion is lotion is what the topic of this episode is about. Um, What I have witnessed in my client base Um, who is over 60 and over 60 myself. So I am in on my own experiment as well, but I have many, many individual clients that come in and they describe a variety and ongoing stiffness. I get up from bed and I can't walk. And after I've been sitting for a while, I I go to stand up and my, and my hip seizes up or the muscles of my butt um, go into a spasm or, you know, I can't fully straighten up or I have pain in my legs when I've walked, um, you know, for what I used to be able to do without blinking an eye. Now, you know, I'll be part way to my, where I'm trying to walk to, and I'm experiencing muscle pain and discomfort. And I'm worried that I'm not going to make it to my car when I'm coming from a store that I've just been walking around in. That's not an uncommon scenario. Um, So what I'm going to show you today, and I'm going to do it, and you can do it with me to see right now, if doing this little mini, what I call mobility routine, makes you feel better in your body just by doing it once with me. And if it does, then you're going to want to do what I'm going to tell you to do with it after we do the routine, how to use it on an ongoing basis to mitigate and maybe alleviate some of this muscle tightness, stiffness, and pain that we experience just because we're getting older. Um, I tell all my clients over 60, you know, um, you just have to spend extra time in your day to do mobility and flexibility work. But what I have found, again, is that when I say that, if I don't show them something to do, they will revert to like yoga poses or flexibility um, positions that they were able to do when they were younger or they got off the internet, for instance, and they're just too aggressive um, and they're static stretches and not moving stretches. And so, they are apt to bring up a spasm when you're trying to um, use it to minimize discomfort and possible muscle spasming. So we're gonna do a like four minute routine right now. Um, We're gonna work from the shoulders down to the feet. Um, I'm gonna do it, you can do it with me. And then when we're done with it, I'm going to tell you how you can apply it like a behavioral medicine in your everyday life so that 
when you do it consistently, you are using it as a pain management technique. All right. It is designed for over 60. It's designed to be standing. So you're not going down to the floor because many of my over 60, 70 and 80 year old clients can't go down to the floor. And it's something that I'm going to advocate that you do every day. So I don't want to have any barriers in it for you. Getting down to the floor is a barrier. Um, so it is standing routine. Now I'm going to show you this and we're going to do it together. I have welcome you to do it with me, but you are going to probably need something for balance. Um, and this routine does enhance balance because it, it makes you have to balance in some of the positions, but I have a PCV, uh, pipe right here, but you can get a broom and put the bristles on top and just use a broom. Cause you just need a little something to hold on to for a couple of these exercises. All right. So have that on hand. And if not, if you can hold on to something like on a wall or a chair or something, that's fine too. But let's go through this routine. All right. It is 10 repetitions. You're going to stand with your feet right underneath your hips. You're going to stand up straight. And now we're going to take our shoulders and we're going to go forward little baby circles and we're going to do it 10 times. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10 backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now take one arm and go backwards and around, making a bigger circle and three. And you can modify this if it's, you have to make it a little bit smaller of a range of motion, that's fine. Just making a little bit bigger circle than you just started for the first set. And this is eight and nine and 10. Same thing on the other side, going backwards and then circling around and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now the reverse, you're going to go forward and then round back and two. And it's very normal for you to feel crunching um, inside on your joints. If there's no pain involved, that's fine. That's just tightness, uh, the ligaments kind of running over the bones. But as you go, you'll notice that it gets to be less and less. So unless there's pain involved, that's not a bad thing. It just means you're tight and that's why we're doing this. Motion is lotion. You're putting lotion into the joints and the muscles. Let's go the other side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that is 10. Now take your arms and you're gonna go out and like you're giving yourself a hug. And two, hug, three, hug, four, hug, five, hug, six, hug, seven, hug, eight, hug, and nine, and a hug, and 10, and a hug. Now you're gonna go on an angle, and then together, and then the other arm up an angle, and together on the diagonals, and this is two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now you're gonna bring your arms up and you're gonna just do a twist from the waist. So we're working down the body now, starting in the shoulders. We hit all the ranges of motion that the shoulder joint can do or is made to do. Now we're getting into the spine and rotation is one of the things that the spine is needs to do that we don't do enough of. And so motion is lotion. We're kind of applying lotion to the rotational muscles of your torso and getting them to go through their range of motion very gently loosening them up. They're happy when they're looser and when they've been taken through their ranges. Now let's call this, I don't know, eight. I'm making up a number close enough. Nine and then 10. Coming back to the center, reach one arm up and one arm down, side bends. I am so excited to announce your second 50.life. 
I have been working in the fitness industry with individuals, both men and women, over 50 years old for 42 years and really specialized in the last 10 on over 50. I'm over 50 myself by a long shot. And I've helped literally thousands of men and women both to lose the extra body fat that they gain in the second half of their life to feel better in their own bodies energetically. Uh, I have helped people to reverse and eliminate health problems, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, pre-diabetes, um, symptoms of menopause, um, to name just a few. On this platform, you will have access to a entire body of resources, exercise videos, uh, mini courses, eating plans that are specially designed for over 50 men and women because there's special needs for our demographic. And in addition to the virtual resources that you'll have access to if you join at any time that you'd like, you also have access to me for one-on-one -on -one coaching through a, a group coach call every month. So you can bring your specifics and we can address those as you're also getting information that is specific to the over 50 population, 50s, 60s, 70s, and now 80s is the demographic that I'm working with. So it's your second 50 dot life, Y-O-U-R-S-E-C-O-N-D, 5-O dot life. Go check it out. It might be the, the single best thing that you've looked at, like in your second 50s. Okay. The, the uh, torso moves in a couple different directions. We do the forward and back movement all during the day when we stand up, sit down, sit on a chair, but we don't do the rotation as much and we don't do the side bending as much. So here we go. That's why motion is lotion. We're taking these muscles and we're just making them, not making them, they like doing this. We're just giving them what they love to do. Just getting that movement rhythmically. It's like an internal massage. Two more. And eight and nine. And the last one is 10 and back to the center. Okay, now we're gonna get into the hips a little bit. So we're gonna put our hands on your pelvis and you can bring your feet a little more together now and you're just gonna make circles. Make circles to the right and you can make them smaller and then get bigger as you go as the muscles become happy now because we sit so much and this whole pelvic area gets all locked up, the lower back, the front hip and the groin. I have a lot of clients that say this pain, it comes up the back of my leg, it wraps around into the front. This is all oftentimes just the result of these muscles staying in like constricted positions and not being, you know, not getting motion, which is like lotion. Let's do one more. Now the other direction. So around. And two, and I'm going to de demonstrate from the side. Three, so you are bringing your hips forward and then back as you're circling. Five and six, we're going to go back to the center. Seven and eight, nine, and that is ten. Now, I'm going to demonstrate this from the side. You're going to bring your arms down, and then you're going to reach up, and you bring your hips forward like a little bit of a back bend. And hips forward, that's two. So we're opening up the front muscles. They are so happy. It's like you're putting soothing salve, a lotion in the front muscles because we sit so much, they get so tight. Now you don't want to be overly aggressive on this. You just want to take it to a range where you feel a little bit of a, you know, you're going a little beyond the comfortable zone, feel a little bit of a pull, but not a strain. You're going, if you feel a strain back off, that's too much. Okay, this is eight. And nine, and one more, and 10. And then turn around facing forward so you can see me again. Now, this is where you might want to take your broom. All right, I'm gonna use this PVC pipe just for a little bit of balance because now we're gonna take your right leg and just lift and lower. But this is a little bit bigger movement so you're getting mo lotion from the motion up the back of the leg. And five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then the other side, same thing. One. And again, if going up this high is a little too much for your leg, then just go here, keeping it in a small range. And you'll find that the more you do this, the higher the range you'll be able to get, but that will come with time. More lotion you put on, the looser things get.
That's six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's bring this back to the other side. Now, we're gonna take the right leg and you're going to just bring it out and then back in, out to the side. And again, you go to the range that feels like you're opening but not straining. Four, five, six, opening up this groin area, very, very tight. I had a, a male client this morning, he's like, I can't do that. And I said, let's go through the routine. And by the time we got to this and we had done those circles and warmed this up, he was able to do it without, he had fear, but he, his fear was he pulled something, but it didn't happen. He was loose enough to do it. One more and more lotion on the other side. Same thing, side and then in and two and three, four, five, six, seven. You're also working balance on here. That's like an additional side effect. Eight, nine, and 10. And then we do one more. Let's bring this back over. And now we're gonna do a circle. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Move your broom, same thing, circle, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we do one more, I'm gonna show you from the side, holding on with both hands, feet are hip distance apart, and now you take your heel and you're gonna bring it up to the back of the leg, up, up, and you feel a pull in the front of your thighs, that's where the lotion is and the quads and the knee, and the muscles that, the quadricep muscles, the front of your thigh attach in the, under the knee. So this is lotion for the front leg muscles on the top. And that will give you some knee relief because when they're looser, that joint has more range, less tightness. And that's 10. And then the other side, same thing. One, you're just bringing your heel up towards your, your gluteus maximus, otherwise known as your butt. Three and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, so that was like a top to bottom and we hit all the major muscle groups and we took them through a variety of movements. So we don't just move in this range, we also have the diagonals, right? Circles back, circles forward, moving down the body. And every single repetition that you just did was like putting lotion that is designed to loosen you up and make those muscles feel less stiff. And it doesn't involve holding stretches, which sometimes what I've observed with my clients that are over 60 is that I try to do holding stretches with them. The muscles actually seize up because they are not used to going that far and the tissue is not so um, amenable to that. It can be if we loosen it up, um, but just right off the cuff, it's too much. And they can go into like a spasm of tightness. Um, so then they leave even tighter than when they first came in. So motion is lotion. This is episode number two in my behavioral medicine series for how to alleviate pain and stiffness in muscles for both men and women over 60. All right, so now we just did that routine. And if you did that with me, like um, I asked you to just feel your body. Doesn't it feel a little bit looser, a little bit less pain, um, a little bit, le a little bit less restrictive? What I would tell you to do is to do this routine. First thing out of bed, get up. And, you know, actually one of my clients this morning said to me, can I have a cup of coffee first? <laughs> so I'm saying first thing in the morning, it doesn't have to be like the nanosecond you get out of bed you know, do your morning rituals that you like to do. But what I'm saying is before you really go and start moving around a lot in your day, take on doing this routine. You can just replay this video and do it every day in the morning 
and or possibly after an extended period of sitting. Um, it takes what, all of five minutes to do. And I will give you my personal guarantee from working with so many people over 60 and even in their 50s with this routine actually, um, where when you're doing it consistently, like one day it feels good, two days, three days, four days, by the end of a week, I have clients report to me that, you know, they were gonna have a, a appointment with an orthopedic surgeon because they thought they'd have a, to have some sort of a joint replacement or something uh, much more invasive done. And they're like, I canceled the appointment because I just feel so much better. Like motion is lotion and behavioral medicine. Like you can use behaviors that work like a treatment for muscle pain. All right. This is episode number two. I have six in this series. So please join me for number three. If you are somebody who has various joint um, and muscle discomfort and you're over 60, uh, four more episodes to go. And by the end of the series, you'll have six behavioral medicine tools in your toolbox that you can use either in conjunction with other you know, um, treatments, or maybe even take the place of those um, with much less negative side effects. So I'm glad you found this video series. I'm glad you found your second 50. I invite you to go to my website. Um, I have a platform um, where you can find all sorts of resources. I'm putting out like every single topic that I have expertise in to help people, men and women both, not just women, not just men, um, make their second 50 even better than their first 50. That is my goal. I'm glad it's your goal. And I hope to help you to make that a actuality. All right, everybody, be well. See you soon. Thanks for listening, everybody. And if you'd like to have access to more of my resources, then you can reach me at Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. You can go to my new platform, at yoursecond50.life, that is Y-O-U-R-S-E-C-O-N-D 50.life, or at my website, www.judyterrell.com.